Hi, I am Rajni Shagrawal. I am partner at PDA Consultants. PDA is a very well-known name in MEP and green building consultancy. We design projects starting from hotels to hospitals to residential, corporate parks, IT parks, data centers, railway stations to airports and many more. And the designs which we uh, make for our buildings enable our buildings to be energy efficient and functional over decades. I have been in this field for almost 30 years and uh, I have worked in many domains starting from air conditioning, electrical design, plumbing and low voltage services. Today PD offers all kind of services including data networking, lighting and audio videos for our clients. The role of MEP consultant is to provide the health, whereas the architect can provide you a very beautiful body. We are the people who are trying to put the organs and the flow into the body. Whether it is plumbing or electrical design or HVAC, any of these, if they are not designed very well, the whole project is not a delight. So our clients definitely need beautiful building, but also they have to have buildings which are very functional and energy efficient. For example, in the lifespan of a building, a building may consume at least 20 to 30 times more power and energy as per their initial cost. So this is where the role of MEP consultants come and we make the buildings comfortable to live in and energy efficient to operate. AI is something which is getting into our life in all the spheres. Why not buildings? Buildings are a very important part of our life. And today the buildings have the capability to understand the needs proactively. Today the artificial intelligence has gone and made things much more possible. There are buildings which, which depict the behavior of the occupants. When are the occupants coming? When should the air conditioning be slow? When should the air conditioning be on a high? When do the elevators are performing? In which direction are the people moving in what time of the day? These are the things which buildings are without your knowledge gaining and getting this knowledge and uh, trying to use this knowledge to make themselves better and more efficient. Today, not only the buildings can raise a fire alarm, but they can also activate the fire fighting process much before the humans come to know about the fire in the building. Similarly, the buildings are much more secure. The cameras are not waiting for the incident to get happen. Today, the cameras are predicting the crime and proactively raising alarms at various levels so as to enable the security not to let the crime happen. So these are small examples of AI which are going to get more and more important in our life and maybe 15 years from today, we can't even imagine how intelligent our buildings will be. Buildings depict an era. Looking at the building, you can judge in which era it was built. So today, while we are living through this time, we don't even know how the buildings are changing their face. If you look at a building, you may say, this is a Mughal era building. Another building, you will say, no, this is a Roman era building. And this is an ancient building, this is a heritage building, because the building depicts its looks. Now, when you look at uh, the buildings which are being built today, they are very, very modern. They are very contemporary. You do not have these kind of buildings which were there earlier. Just for a small example, 10 years ago, all buildings used to have false ceilings. Today, the architects, the interior designers and the consultants, they have made it possible to eliminate this false ceiling. Today, people no longer mind looking at the services without the false ceiling. So I think there is a lot of change which is happening the way the buildings are going to look. Another very important thing which is happening is the exteriors. The exteriors today are not visible directly. There is another layer of screen which protects your building from heat or rain or other adverse climates. So this another skin which is being added to the building makes it possible to make your building more protected from physical or climatical 
uh, threats. Selection of material or material of construction is something as important as the product which is made out of those uh, materials. Today we see that we are having fire survival cables, a cable which will not burn even after hours of fire, which enables your smoke alarm or your public address system to function even during the fire. These are called fire survival cables. Today we have PEX pipes which are very easily uh, bendable, which means that they can be bent without a joint. They make our life so nice, you know, there, could, there are no chances of any leakages happening anywhere in the building if you use good quality pipes. Today we have composite materials, composite pipes, which have both good thermal properties as well as good strength mechanically. Also, today we have a lot of eco-friendly materials now these eco-friendly materials are very important because just for an example, the HVAC insulation, the insulation on the pipes or the ducts which we used to use earlier, they were highly anti-environmental. They used to give out fumes, they used to be very corrosive, even the glassful kind of materials which are wrapped around your ducts, the particles could be inhaled. So today the MOC, the material of construction which we use, make our things more energy efficient and also make our life healthier. HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. <clears throat> now HVAC is a vast domain. Ideally, HVAC is not just cooling as we feel in the North India. Most of the Indian cities require cooling. Some of them may require heating, but all of them also need ventilation. Ventilation is a very important factor which is not taken into account. We simply put an air conditioner thinking that we just need to cool the premises. It is not so. Another very important aspect is the humidity control. Because when I sit in an air conditioned, so called air conditioned room, which only cools, I have dryness of my eyes, which happens. This is not very apparent to me but over the years my eyes <coughs> start you know uh, getting dry there are times when the uh, humidity has to be very precise when it comes to process engineering for example pharmaceutical applications a small change in the humidity level can destroy your entire process of manufacturing similarly it is very important that our HVAC design complies to the fire protection and smoke management also. In case of fire, people, many people die because of smoke. Much more people die because of smoke, not because of fire alone. This is where a good HVAC design helps you to extract the smoke from the building in case of fire and give you a safe passage to escape from the building. Also the addition of fresh air is very important because when we sit in an office or a room which is enclosed, and we sit there for 8 or 10 hours, we do not get fresh air. It is very important for our human body to get fresh air so that we remain more alert and we stay more energized. In COVID times, HVAC has become all the more important. Not only we are worried about the cooling, humidity control and ventilation and fresh air, but we are also very much aware about the infection control, which means that we must protect uh, our occupants from the possible threats of infection. A small example, a doctor's room. The air should not flow from the patient side to the doctor side. It should flow from the doctor side to the patient side. This will ensure that the doctors remain healthy. The people who are risking their life to make you healthy should have a right to remain healthy. Also, uh, in the COVID times, we have seen that, especially in hospitals, the operation theatres earlier used to be positive pressures, which means that if you open the door of our operation theater, the air will rush out. This was majorly done so that the patient inside does not get any kind of infection from outside. But the COVID time, if the patient is COVID positive, so you may have to protect the people outside. So the air should not rush out. So it should be negatively pressurized. So today we are designing operation theaters which are, which are interchangeable in pressurization. 
So this are, these are small things which have added to the importance of HVAC, especially during the COVID times. Thank mm -hmm. you.